but it's a vintage ring. Diamonds either side of an oval cut ruby. Like, it, it's worth a lot. Well, no, no, that's just not enough. But thank you for your offer. Bye-bye. Have a latte, please, Marie. I just bumped into Suki and Aisha. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Have you got nothing better to do? Well, I'm genuinely really pleased for them. You know that they went to the Gurdwara together. But I'm guessing that's something that you'll never have in common with Suki. The religion, the culture. I mean, I'm sure you've read a bit here and there and you love the food, but it's not the same as being from the same background, is it? Never will be. Why do you care so much? I know that you won't believe me, but I'd hate to think that me accidentally bringing them together might drive a wedge in between you and Suki. You two have been through so much to be together. I know. I fought it. And seeing how happy you both are now, well, I realised that was never right for her. But that look that I saw in Suki's eyes when I saw her with Aisha today, Take it from somebody who knows. I've seen it before. Do one, Nish. And I know that look that I'm seeing in your eyes, too. <sighs> A little bit of doubt. I know what it feels like when she starts to slip away. And you can fight it all that you want, but that sick feeling in your stomach is telling you something. It's telling me that I have had an earful of you. Well, if you're really OK with them getting to know each other again, then fair play to you. I know I wouldn't be. I could pop by now, you know, but before you close. You know, I don't have any kind of certification now that the ring's decades old. But that'll affect your evaluation that much. Oh, I see. Thanks. Bye-bye. Reese. I think we might be able to help each other out. <laughs> 